So today, I have this video for you, and if I'm being honest right now, all of the stuff that you're about to see is stuff that I filmed, and I was like, Why am I filming this? What is my life right now? What's happening? And as I was filming these random things, I was like, oh, like, I can make this, like, week in my life video. But as we all know, the weeks start coming, and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules, and then I hit the ground running. It didn't make sense, and I was hoping for fun. The brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. But anyways, regardless of how we got here, we're here now, and I have a month's worth of footage that I'm either going to delete or post on the internet, and so I decided I'm gonna post it on the internet. So this has been the last month of my life. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a grocery store, that actually had water on its shelves. There was a girl who was so bored and all she wanted to do was film a video about only eating red things for a day. But unfortunately, these plans never will come to fruition because as many of you know, everyone's in quarantine now. And I mean, technically I bought all the stuff so I could still do it, but I decided that I just didn't want to. I mean, I'm already in quarantine. Do I really want to put myself through the torture of only eating red things as well as being quarantined? I decided to check Twitter to see my Wednesday humpers. Unfortunately, Things didn't go as planned. And even though the world was seemingly about to end, I made the long and treacherous journey to my place of employment because yes, I still did have work. I clocked in fashionably late. And after a long and stressful work day, not knowing if I'd survive, dodging the coughing <laughs> and sneezes, I finally was able to make some jalapeno cheese bread to sort of ease the pain. Also, my inner basic bitch was like, girl, you need a Starbucks. So I got a Starbucks. And I justified my basic bitchness by saying that I could use the cup for a video I had to make for class about not littering. Obviously, this is that video. And yes, I know, it's really bad. But I mean, it's only halfway through the semester, right? And that's what class is for, to learn how to do better. And it's not like class is all of a sudden gonna stop and we're gonna have to do everything online. Well, we're gonna die. No, uh, I'm gonna go to the restroom. <laughs> Obviously, since there's that new trend of people eating toilet paper now, it was all gone. But I decided to get some essentials like water and tampons. Can you imagine? The Karens deciding to eat the tampons too? I mean, what am I supposed to put up there then? A roll of quarters? So I did not go and buy all the tampons, but I made sure I at least had enough to last until the end of quarantine. I'm heading to work, because even in the corona apocalypse, I still work a 12 hour shift. <laughs> Oh god, that was ominous. There's like a crow right there cawing. Will I die from the corona? I have no idea. But if I do, I'm documenting it for the world to see. I'm gonna be honest, the only reason this video of this sandwich is here is because the sandwich looks cool. Anyway, I continued my work day as any other. Nothing really interesting happened for the rest of the day. So we're just gonna move on. I have to admit, since it was literally the Ides of March, rain felt fitting. I was feeling generous that day, so instead of making the customers take down their own chairs, I decided to do it for them. But after all of that, intense labor. I needed a break, so I turned on the game show network. Pills. Bracelet. Um, uh, money. I want to say king and it's obviously not. You got three seconds before I show you the actual answers. One, two, three, boom. Actual answers. Anyway, I decided to, you know, get back to doing my job for a bit. But while I was doing dishes, my coworker made this pig out of onions, and it's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Unfortunately, even though I had another Starbucks craving, 
a bunch of businesses were closed because of the quarantine, obviously. So I decided to stop by the store one more time just to make sure I had some food. I had bought a lot of water and tampons and such, but I had only bought six cans of soup food-wise. And that was definitely not enough food for quarantine. I mean, if we eat three meals a day, six cans of soup would have only lasted two days. So, you know, I had to stock up a little bit on some essentials. Also, I found a water bottle that was literally empty. Someone literally drank all of the water and then put it back on the shelf. Like, are you kidding me? Like, what? So... Checking Twitter was a mistake. If you want to have a panic attack at the start of a quarantine, I would suggest checking Twitter. But after the seemingly perpetual fear subsided, the boredom set in. Day two of quarantine was St. Patrick's Day. As you can see, I was getting as festive as possible, drinking green tea. Normally I dress up super intense, like green lipstick, green mascara, green scarf shirt, pants, hat, the whole works. But since this year I'm cooped up inside, the green tea will have to do. As well as a green bath. Mm-hmm. That's right. Green food coloring in the bath. Yes, bitch. Yes, I do know how to self-care. After all of the much-needed relaxing, there was some much-needed laundry that needed to get taken care of. I'm one of those people that I would rather buy a new shirt and new pants to wear to work than do my laundry. And I know that's stupid. I work a minimum wage job. Spending that money is literally spending like my whole paycheck on clothes. But for some reason, I can't get out of this habit. But now that we're in quarantine, I don't have the luxury of going and buying new clothes whenever I have dirty clothes, so I have to actually do laundry. I think this might be the first time that I've had all of my laundry done at the same time. Honestly, I think the only laundry that needs to be done right now is the clothes that I'm wearing, so if there is one positive of quarantine, it's that it's getting me to do my laundry consistently. I need you to hate you to love me. I began to fall into this routine of perpetually chilling, and although relaxation is great, it does start to get boring after a while. So I decided to start making videos again. It's the dark of night. And I'm outside. Hence, you're literally watching one right now. All right, buddy. Let's come back. I know the world's a weird place right now. And it'd be lying to say that I'm thrilled that all this stuff is happening. But I'm trying to take it day by day, enjoying the simplicity, enjoying the relaxation, trying to be creative, trying to do the things that I've wanted to do for a really long time that I normally wouldn't have time for. And YouTube is one of those things. Being a full-time student and working full-time, it pretty much seemed impossible to do this. And now it still feels difficult, and I know it's going to be, but, but this has made me want to commit to at least making an effort of putting something out once a week. Right now, I'm taking this day by day. Since this was all happening, I wanted to film about it. Even if it's just for me to remember the weirdest year of my life, at least I have something. I know this video is about March, but I hope you all are having a wonderful April. I don't know where this video is going. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Subscribe down below. You know the deal. 
And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are. And I will see you whenever I see you. Bye.